<laughs> Miss me? <laughs> Welcome back to Jill Enough. Oh, God. I'm your gaseous, Christina Wakacha, with me as always. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I just, I'm not sure what I'm feeling right now. Oh Christina just got more sexual than I've ever seen her get into that microphone. If you're not watching on YouTube, uh, Christina <laughs> almost had the microphone in her mouth. And her skirt is pulled up and her hair is kind of tasseled. I don't know what happened. Well, I'm not, just over here hair, wiping. Hair <laughs> I trimmed the other ones today. I'm just actually. over here it's wiping funny. the sweat off of my body. I know. We're, oh, my God. This is like. This is like Louis Anderson on his last comedy special. He always had the little napkin in his pocket, and he, like, pats himself down. That's, that's where it's, it's pat-down season, guys. It's, here we go. Oh, my God. It's like, Whenever oh. you've been in, a, like, in an especially, in an, did I say that right? In I'm, an especially hot uh, <laughs> zone, have you ever, I'm not saying this has ever happened to me, but hypothetically, have you ever gotten a zit in your muffler? Like a zit <laughs> downstairs? <laughs> Like, I've definitely had it. Have you ever gotten a zit in your muffler? <laughs> My muffler. <laughs> I feel like it's not as harsh if I have an accent. <laughs> have you ever gotten a zit in your muffler? <laughs> um, like a false face. <laughs> Better you, than your exhaust pipe, I guess. Exactly. Are you excited you're back? Yeah. I, was at, I was at a comedy show Monday, and there was this older comic. He was talking about women, and he said the word muff. At least 30 times. And me and the other comics just kept counting. We're like, he just oh kept, I was like, when do you ever hear anybody call it a muff? Paul, do the kids still say muff? Now we're back to twat. Twat. Oh my God, I never I use love that twat. word. Twat. It's twat. funny. Twat is kind of funny, actually. Um, uh, but don't you think everything sounds nicer with like Jim Jeffries? Like, oh, oh God, is it in my flow? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think oh, that's how Jim sounds. Oh my like. god! <laughs> <laughs> I try to rub my eye through my glasses. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so you did or you didn't get a zit in your muffler? <laughs> I'm a zit in my muffler. I don't. I for surely. <laughs> I for surely have had zits on my butt. Like I for sure got butt zit before because I remember trying to write a joke about it. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> And then I feel like up front, like uh, definitely ingrown hairs, which profile as a zit. They kind of identify zit E, right? Oh, okay. Um, anyways, but I don't know if I've had like a real zit. But remember, you know, I don't know. Like, I mean, it's gotten so sweaty down there. You know, I can like, I've already, you know, I can oh, but you don't knickies and stuff. You don't <laughs> stick your fingers up there either, though. <laughs> no, I, got, I got my vibrator. <laughs> Paul, which, why Paul? would you even try and put something in your mouth while we're talking? Like, he's choking on a chip. As soon as you said that, the garlic just <laughs> exploded in my mouth. <laughs> Are you eating chips? You're not supposed to have sodium. No. Yeah, oh, no, no. Oh, no. man. These are, these are crispies. That's chips. I mean, it's still chips, Paul. Did I you buy like it at a gas still, station? They're healthy. No. Sodium. I bought them at John's. Okay. Oh, great. Well, John's is probably loaded with salt in the whole store. <laughs> uh, I'm worried about you. Some guy almost threw milk on me. Oh, kinky. <laughs> it's a dangerous store. As I was leaving, he threw like a, like he like opened up a gallon and went like, shoot, <laughs> like with milk. Oh my Why? God, really? Yeah. And then I looked at him and he was like a short little Mexican dude and he waddled away. Was he angry? Like my recent drink date? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was him, to be honest. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Throwing milk at you. Oh, that's just hideous. But rude. Mm -hmm. What a waste of milk. Oh, yeah, we got the bell back, guys. So if something inappropriate happens, we get to ring the bell. Nothing for butt zits. All right. I know. I, well, feel like, I feel like Christina has got a lot of things that she hasn't shared with me. Okay, here's a question I have for you. And give me give me three sentences before anybody interrupts me. Uh, <laughs> uh oh, it's been one of those days. <laughs> I got. I already tweeted it, so I know the beats of what I'm gonna say. Okay. Uh, why do 25 year olds keep hitting on me? Like, do they think I own an iron? Cause I don't. Like, <laughs> Paul, I am like crushing it right now with younger dudes. Like, that I cannot. Iron line cracked me up. Oh my god, it's true though. I'm like, uh, so I went to Seattle. I performed at the Comedy Underground, and it was. Mm. I have to tell you, it was an amazing weekend. Um, so tell me if you do that. This is like a dirty pervy, single, fucking straight white girl thing to do. But sometimes when I'm on the road, 
I will like walk around and look for like a bar to sit at and I'll like peer in a window for like a hot guy bartender before I commit to a restaurant. Yeah, that doesn't sound creepy. <laughs> right? Thank you. <laughs> Pressed up against it's the just window. Like me in the window. <laughs> Your breath is fogging it up. <laughs> he looks hot. I guess I'll go in here. <laughs> That's what being in your sexual peak is like for a woman. Oh, wait. You don't look at, like, if there's attractive people sitting at the bar, you only look at the bartender? You know what? I feel like I have to start doing that because you're right. Why am I always obsessed with the bartender? Why can't I just look at the crowd at the bar and be like, yeah, because if you have a hot girl bartender, guess what? Dudes are going to be at the bar because they're going to like that hot bartender. But I don't know why I'm always looking for a dude bartender. I don't know why either. No, you found a good... I know, and I know that's uh, to be true. So... Yeah, you're right. I should. I need to start just going in all the bars. <laughs> Clearly, it seems like the safe thing. Is this story connected to the 25 year old? Yes. Was he so, the bartender? Yes. Hey. He's a bartender in Capitol Hill, Seattle, which is like a really trendy area. So I find this like cool restaurant, and honestly, it was delicious, trendy, like craft beer, totally my speed. And of course, I get there and I walk to Capitol Hill from where I was staying, and I was staying in like the business di- district of Seattle. So I walked all uphill, like just sweating. Like, anyways, so I walk in, and then you know me, I'm like, it can be, especially with that much coffee that I've had in my body by that point of the day. And I was just like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I'm so gross, I'm so sweaty, and I want a beer, but like nothing that's that strong. I have to like work tonight. And then he just looks at me and he's like, you're not from here, are you? <laughs> like I was like, nope. <laughs> All the cities I'm from are not here. <laughs> I'm like, I'm from Toronto, like, I'm from LA, like, I'm from Oh, Vancouver. we all have zits on our butts. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's a game in Seattle. <laughs> I know. So, yeah, anyway, so I started chatting with him, and then he gave me his phone number. I was like, okay, well, I'll put you on the list for, like, I was kind of hoping to get more people to a Sunday show, because I was scared there wouldn't be a lot of people at the Sunday show. But then I was like, you could come down tonight, like, the show's on Saturday. But yeah, he ended up coming down to both shows on Saturday night and sitting through all those hours of comedy. Is he autistic? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what the so, <laughs> so the taxi, oh the special god. needs taxi cab dropped him off. Oh, sorry. Sorry. And he had no ride back home. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, that's so sweet. Christina looks half horrified and half mad at me. She's like, he likes me. You're like, uh, is he on the spectrum? Uh, exactly, actually. That's kind of my brand. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. I know. So he's out there all that. Cause obviously he's done some comedy like in Philly or whatever. So I think he's already kind of in the comedy world. And anyways, so he was very sweet. Um, so I did meet him for a drink. I was like, I can't really drink before, like, especially two 45 minutes set. So I was like, I can't really. But I did go meet him at a bar before the early show. And then I was like, okay. And then he, like, got in this interaction with, so he's from Philly. And then we met this guy at this bar in Seattle in Pioneer Square. It was, the city was packed, by the way. Like, Seattle was oh, so Oh, Labor Day weekend, fun. Right? Labor Day weekend. The PAX convention, Bumber Shoe. It's just like people were out. And it was sunny. It was perfect. Anyway, so some guy from like New Jersey, the two of them just started interacting with each other where I was like, I could probably just like work on my set list right now. Like they were so, but they, the way that they were interacting was almost like angry. Have you ever seen like a man from Philly and a man from New Jersey interact? You can't tell if they hate each other or love each other. It was really confusing. But then the New Jersey w- guy went to buy the Philly guy a drink. This is making my autistic argument even stronger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, check it out. Check out the warning signs. (laughs) Bring your flashcards. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. (laughs) Well, that's good that he's able to bond with friends. I mean... uh... (laughs) Jen slowly crossing that off the list. I know. Uh uh, (laughs) Uh-oh. There we go. Uh, That's a good icebreaker, right? Uh, That's (laughs) that's like the new bell ring. It's my burp. (laughs) Yeah, I don't need this bell. And reset. All right. (laughs) Fuck the bell. But here's what happened on my first show. I think it was my first show on Saturday. So there was a dude in the crowd in the front row with his parents. And you know when I like to survey if people are single? That's usually like just me. Anyways, the dude in the front row with the parents, he was single, and he gave me his phone number, too. You are killing it. I got two phone numbers in Seattle. You know why you're killing it? 
Don't chase, just receive. <laughs> That's right, because I'm not chasing, I'm just receiving. Call back from the last episode we did last week. Right? Wearing exactly. the same clothes. <laughs> <laughs> so weird that we were wearing these clothes two weeks in a row. <laughs> Trying to finish this beer still. <laughs> we haven't even been home. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, um, okay, wait, I finished your, because I have a... Well. Oh, no, so anyways, but I was very impressed because I did do my anal joke. And I was in front of his parents, and they were in the front row, and he still gave me his number. And his parents approved. The dad was like, I think you're really talented. And I did the anal joke. <clears throat> That's pretty impressive if parents can laugh at that. I know. And that guy's 36, works for Amazon, and moving to Santa Barbara soon. So that could frequency. be... That's Here's the thing, you guys. I feel like, from now on, I feel like, I'm. you know me, I'm a true believer in only having flings on the road. No having sex in the city. And now I just, like, leave the condoms in my suitcase. Because I'm like, that's the only place I'm fucking is when I'm living out of a suitcase. Fucking on the hilltop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so 36-year-old, 25-year-old. The 25-year-olds are fun, that though, right? They, they take you to bars with ski ball and stuff. It's cool. <laughs> Speaking of sex, I saw two homeless people having sex. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Yesterday, I was walking home from the gym. You know what makes it even worse, though? So, you know, we love to pick up pennies off the floor. Yes. Christina and I, if we see a, a penny, it, no matter how dirty it is. Yeah. It's for the good luck. It's not because we need the penny. It's more <laughs> about the luck procedure where we need the luck. Yeah, because I pick it up and then I flip it around in my hands. I get that good luck, even though it's dirty as fuck. Yeah. And then I go home and wash my hands. But I was doing it. And then I turned into my alley that I, I always cut across an alley to get to my house. It was 1 p.m. Two homeless people. I mean, straight. Raw dogging. And I had already committed. I was like, I got to still walk down this alley. And I had to walk right by him. And then I thought, like, maybe I shouldn't pick up any more lucky pennies. Because <laughs> I picked it up right before. And I was like, you should have started, like, whistling the Andy Griffith, like, <laughs> TV show song. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> like, I'm not going to be like, like, I'm not a very good whistler. I just, at first, I was like, that's wrong. And then I was like, well, now everybody needs sex. That's true. And then I felt strangely horny the rest of the day. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, but your tweet that you did last night is one of the funniest things ever where you talked about. You know, when I tweet late at night, That's I don't you... remember uh, what I tweeted, right? I always wake up in the morning like, oh, no, I had a little wine. I wonder what I put on the internet. Should I take it down? I feel like I only do bad things when I'm drunk, but you have funny tweets. You did something about getting... That's how you get kicked out of Toluca Lake. Oh, yeah. So I, I met this guy last night. Um <laughs> Uh, so I, anyways, I, there was randomly a whole bunch of like kind of extended network Canadian friends at the bar I was at last night having, I was having dinner with a friend and then I just bounced into this party and some guy was like, oh yeah, I just did this like 12 day cleanse. And I was like, 12 days? Wild Rose? I was like, I, that's like one of the only cleanses I've ever done in my life. So I know it's 12 days. He's like, yeah, oh my God. And so then I bust out my phone and I was like, I kept a poop journal during that Wild oh, Rose cleanse. Oh God, you showed him pictures? <laughs> No, no, it was all written. It was just written in my notes. And then Alana Johnson, who's really funny, actually, she grabs it. She reads it. Then she's like, day four, no poops, WTF. She's like, that's real. <laughs> she's like, I like this poop journal. But yeah, anyways. But yeah, so I showed these people my poop journal. I kind of went around the table. And uh, yeah, that is how you get to kicked out of Toluca Lake. Seems like six people like walked out right there. <laughs> like, <laughs> I've never heard of anyone keeping a poop journal. Do you want to see it? No. no okay, I'll show you later. No, not yet. <laughs> she says no. I'm like, oh, I'm still showing you. <laughs> There's sketches. That's our first <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. There used to be this poop app that me and my sketches. friends. <laughs> oh, yeah. First of all, I used to work at an Irish pub. And whenever the... <laughs> this is so gross. Whenever the shepherd's pie, you know, like English... <laughs> Pub fair. You know what I mean? We, I worked at one of those pubs that always had, like, all the English food. And whenever the shepherd's pie upset anybody, anybody's stomach, we'd always say we were going for a shepherd's explosion. <laughs> 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 and also, back then, we were also on this poop app. Or you could, like, I forget what it was called, but it was a poop app. And then, like, you could hit all these little weird, like, things of, like, what your poop was. But our, me and my friend Jordy at work, our favorite <laughs> was, was one in the description. And the picture was of caramel popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, so you had a bad time in the bathroom and you came back out, you're like, oh no, don't go in there. I just caramel popcorned. <laughs> you know what that looks like. My favorite is too many carrots. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Halloween. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This looks just like the decorations at Ralph's. <laughs> Why is everything orange and brown? <laughs> Sometimes I listen to other people's podcasts and I'm like, 
these are so informative and these people are so smart. And then I listen to ours. I'm like, wow. <laughs> Come for the Jill and stay for the poop. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> talked about Jill and oh my god this is oh I guess we have this is what makes us different than other podcasts we're just like this is organically uh, just us talking to each other sweating so much I think I smell like those homeless people oh my god oh my god not bad it's not too bad oh you know you and your skits living on skit row (laughs) 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 this lovely man I met in San Luis Obispo you know when people don't know about comedy, so they'll text you something, Paul, and you'll be like, he's like, how are your skits coming? I was like, oh, skits. no. Now Christina calls it Skit Row. Skit Row. <laughs> oh, just living it up here on Skit Row. <laughs> <laughs> what if they were all open micers that failed? <laughs> That's, those are the, the only homeless people in L.A. That's what I'm going to teach my kids. That's exactly <laughs> oh what it is. God. I feel like everybody's an aspiring comedian now. Somebody's probably listening to this right now, and they're like, I want to do comedy. And we're like, great. Cool, fun, it's great. We love comedy, we really do. What else you got there for September 5th, 2019? It's <laughs> National Pizza Day. <laughs> Nobody will benefit from listening to this because they'll be gone, but Paul and Christina, today you can get uh, 50 cent slices of pizza at 7-Eleven because it's National Pizza Day. Oh, you can? I ate a lot of pizza in Seattle. I don't like to eat before shows. And then you go out late at night and that's pretty much the only thing that you can get. There's a place in Seattle that I became obsessed with called Vito's. Oh, you told me about Vito's. First Hill. It's in First Hill, so it was up from my hotel. And Vito's <laughs> is the best. It's just even a sequence of even higher hills <laughs> to get to everywhere you need to <laughs> I know. Go. Why Seattle Hills? First Hill, Capitol Hill. <laughs> and even the places that aren't called Hill, it's a still a hill. And then you went up Mount Rainier. <laughs> and that was the <laughs> Kinky. <laughs> now, I didn't sleep with anybody in Seattle for once in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, you're 25. I like it when I'm like, even when he was like being really sweet and flirty and be like, oh my God, no, I really like to date you. I was like, I never want to use the excuse of being older. I never want to be like, like, I don't want to be like, I'm 15 years older than you. Like, I feel like a man would never do that. A man would never be like, I can't, I'm 15 years older than you. Or a man would never be like, I can't, I'm 20 years older than you. Or like a man would never be like, I can't, I'm 25 years older than you. Like, they would just like keep I was like, how long are these excuses going to keep going? I know. <laughs> you just got to oh, tell them, I don't got much time left. <laughs> the point is, the guy would be like, you're 25 years younger than me? Oh, yeah. Let's get it on. Well, it's weird for me because I would be one. <laughs> It'd be a zygote. I never want to say that because I don't want to be like, "How old are you?" I know. Well, I should have just gone with some classic turn down lines, like, "I can't. I'm on my period," or "I can't. You're a smoker." Like I could have used like traditional turn down. Was he lines. a smoker? Yes, he was a smoker. But you made out with him. I sure did. Did it taste like smoke? A little bit. Oh no! But it wasn't the worst. Like it wasn't the worst. Like I've 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 kissed worse. You know. If what you mean? have enough alcohol, it kind of counteracts the. I know, smoke. and it can still be kind of... Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> so I wanted to show you a picture. You haven't seen what this guy looks like. No. So I'm oh. going to show you a picture. Oh, of my God, an unveiling? So then, because I feel like sometimes we get good facial reactions out of me, and we're going to get a true facial... We're unveiling on the... Po- oh, my God, this is like The Bachelor. Yeah, I got it. What about show. Paul? I wish we had a screen to put it up on. Yeah, okay. Oh, I don't Paul think you want to show everybody. Show Paul first. And then, okay. oh, how did I accidentally take a picture of my legs? <laughs> I like his afro. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, wait, that's not him? I don't oh. know if this is going to work properly, but I, I don't know how I did this, but I thought I would take a picture of my thighs. Yeah, his afro. From over there. I don't know how I did it. Well, how did I do that? Can you do that? Oh, my God. 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 O
Oh, he's cute. He looks older than 25. He does look older than 25. Yeah, he does for sure. How are all the young people looking so old? What did they do wrong? They want to be old. That's why. I have still. They all like want to be good and like work and not drink and be wholesome. Not this guy, thank God. But yeah, he he looks good. And can we just can we just do one more thing before I walk away from? I might go back to the camera one time. Show the the camera the picture of him. No, no, this is privacy. But then you know I do have a fan page on Facebook that I never update. But remember I sent you this the other day. Oh yeah, that's funny. (laughs) Okay, are you gonna hold it up to the camera? Gillenov in 4D. I feel like I'm now on one of those podcasts where when you're listening, but no. they're just watching videos. Wait, 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 wait. Hold it closer. And you don't know what's going on? Uh, Facebook there. Wait, Christina? you can't read what it says. What about the people that are just listening? No, what does it say? It says... Wait, wait, wait. Say it in the microphone. <laughs> yeah, in the microphone. <laughs> what about the people that are just listening and they're not so listening? It's just on uh, Facebook. Facebook sent me a notification for my fan page, and it says... Uh, there's been some activity on Christina Walkinshaw, <laughs> which is true. There's it says there's been 203 activities on Christina Walkinshaw. There's been 203 activities on Christina Walkinshaw. Christina's like, been walking up some hills. <laughs> speaking of activities, I had to get, uh, not to sound old, speaking of <laughs> old age and activities, I had to get a mammogram. Oh, I'm so proud of you for doing that. That's I know, important. But a bunch of people told me, they're like, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. And then I went in there, and the lady, you know, they, like, smash your boob. Yeah, they that. squish it. She had to, like, grab side boob, because I don't really have enough to fill the machine that was going to be pressing down. Yeah, can you check these boobs back here while you're doing it? <laughs> she had to grab some about. side fat. You she, have have, she was, like, like kneading bread. She was, like, pushing it into the machine. <laughs> she was like, get in. She's like, you have rare love handle cancer. I'm sorry. But, like, do these need a mammogram, too? Just curious. <laughs> <laughs> but then she, like, shoved the thing down, and I was like, is that it? So now I'm starting to think that all my friends just don't have good sex lives if it hurts. Oh, yeah. Mine didn't hurt. Yeah. But I feel like, I I don't know. Do, do people not handle your boobs? No, I, I love some boob hand. I feel like my boobs have been handled a lot. I don't know why you looked at you, Paul. I'm talking, like, Paul, how about your boobs? Your boobs uh, are tight. <laughs> I'm talking like Rocky Ivan Drago handled, you know what I mean? Like 18 rounds. Huh? You know uh, what I mean? Oh. <laughs> Punching bags. That's how I say. My bras are always so padded. It's like a bumper car down here. I know I've already done that one on the air, but it's true. No, but I do. I feel like if it hurts to get a mammogram, like maybe your sex life is just lacking a little. Like if you're not having any yeah. action, like it doesn't hurt that bad. No, it's a little not squishing. At all. No, it's just squishing. It's just weird. But I also don't know if it hurts bigger boobs more. Maybe because there's more squishing. Because yeah. they do squish it pretty hard, but mine are small, so it's just a little bit. Yeah, same with mine. <laughs> no, you have huge Paul? boobs. <laughs> I, well, I just wear it. really good bras. Well, my bra, my boobs did grow in, like the last few years. We're talking about how much it hurts to, to squish boobs. But I was like, have you ever had a stint pulled out of the <laughs> tickle? <laughs> <laughs> I have less boob now. I, I lost 20 pounds in two weeks. Have you ever stuck oh. 20 tampons up inside you and then pulled them all out? <laughs> I'm having Vietnam flashbacks right now. Expose yourself. Oh, my oh, God. Okay. <laughs> you oh guys God. don't know pain. Can't wait for your reboot of the movie 27 Dresses. It's just like 27 tampons. I'm like, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. <laughs> By 21, you're dead of toxic shock. <laughs> We did grow up. That was a real fear growing up, TSS. Uh, oh, shit. Why is it snowing in Studio City? Is this the best episode we've ever done? Probably. Like, I probably mean, not. People are probably like, <laughs> oh, It's yeah. the sweatiest episode we've ever done. It definitely is. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, you guys still never answered me if you, you uh, ever had a zit in your muffler. A <laughs> zit in your muffler. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all that shit you wrote on that page. What else is going on now? Oh, we forgot Mo Money, Mo Men. Mo Money, Mo Men. That's we our d- new slogan. We feel like, yeah, Mo Mo, we're, we're making more money and we're getting Mo Men. It's because. They got to coincide. I, I, I date homeless men. That's why. And they're like, oh, she seems to be able to buy drinks. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Nobody's homeless. Uh, excepting the people that you watch have sex. Those people are homeless. <laughs> uh, they were so homeless. <laughs> But they had to do it. I just couldn't believe it was like, I felt like they could have found some shelter. They were literally out in, well, you know, I didn't want to bring it down, but it looked like she was asleep. Oh, no, really? Oh, I pictured two dudes for some reason. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
What kind of porn have you been watching? <laughs> Two dudes with Jen walking by. <laughs> <laughs> Jen cameos in the back. <laughs> Paul just rules with such successful women that he doesn't picture women being homeless. Oh, there you go. Right, isn't that it? You're like, Whoa, women are killing it. So, yeah. Paul, now that you have all these women contacting you after your illness, are you going out with anybody? Yeah. We need a Paul update. I don't know. Well, things have been bloody <laughs> for the past month. <laughs> oh, man. Still? So other than that. I have some panty liners if you want to borrow one. <laughs> yeah, can I take one? They're really good. I, I remember when I was bleeding, uh, like, I, I complained about it to my dad. He's like, I have gauze. And he gave me gauze. I was like, that's not going to say it. <laughs> and he's like, what do you mean? They cut you in the back, right? I was like, nope. I was like, your boy became a little bit less of a boy today. Oh, my God. <laughs> you better uh, eat some steak. You need some iron. I can't have that much meat either. That's another big thing. Another Paul kidney stone tip. Yeah. Oh. You, you could only eat. Hold on, I got my reference. You got to go on a plant based diet. Yeah. yeah. Do you have to like pretend like you have gout or something? <laughs> you got to get the kale and carrots. Less than 50 grams per day of animal meat. Yeah, See? you should you should do the plant based. I, well, I'm not. Not strictly, just, you know, a little, just a lot. And then yeah. you can cheat every so today. often. There is a lot of weird, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like when I eat in other countries, I don't feel the same way as when I eat the exact same products. In America. Does that make yeah. sense? Like, even when we go to Italy, we're like, oh, we have pasta. We have all these things that we're not supposed to have in America, but don't feel heavy. Don't feel weird. Then here, yeah. I don't know. You can eat all this meat. Everything's more mass produced here. I know. I'm just like more. But it's so expensive. Like, plant based is so. There's a, a plant based uh, diner at this place that I do uh, in Santa Ana. Yeah. And I think the burgers are like, I mean, they're amazing burgers, but they're like $18 for a burger. Yeah, some of the Impossible Burgers, they are quite expensive. Yeah. Yeah. I think in the grocery store, you can find some decent price stuff, though. Yeah. yeah. That's what I need to do. I What I'm excited about is I think I'm going to slim down like crazy. Ooh. Yeah. Like with this new diet. Yeah. And nothing, I put this on Facebook, nothing uh, keeps you to your diet mo uh, more like trauma. True. <laughs> that's been holding me to my diet. I'm just terrified. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's cool. How many have I done this episode? That's not good. That, was, that one was loud and deep. Thank you. <laughs> Not like Jen's attempt <laughs> earlier in the episode. I know. I couldn't even have hear you it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, have you noticed since your surgery, have you had more, more or less gas? Oh, uh, well, I stopped drinking soda. Okay. And then until, because I, I was addicted to soda. and then, It's called pop, just so you know. Oh, yeah, I was drinking no, pop. No, not here. <laughs> Cost a nickel at the not diner. Not here, Canadian. <laughs> we don't drink pop at supper, okay? <laughs> we have soda at dinner. <laughs> Oh, pop it supper. Uh, but they said, you know what's actually really good for stones is diet, either diet seven up or diet sprite. Yeah. So that's what they were like drinking. So I've been drinking that. Yeah, so no, I know. My uncle has Crohn's and yeah, he drinks like sprite. Yeah. I had to shave ginger, my pubes for my, ale. I shaved my pubes for my doctor. You're classy. Remember we had that conversation a while ago. Yeah. Do you shave for your doctor? Yeah. I don't. Pubes. I just assume that there's worse out there than me, but. Well, I didn't know they were going to go through that channel <laughs> the right. first time oh my god because like i they didn't tell me until 20 minutes before my surgery i thought they were going to cut into my back oh my god. do oh you have any god. like ptsd do you have flashbacks oh, of them yeah. giving that oh yeah um, i would too i have i have more flashbacks from yesterday when they took out my stent yeah i can oh. imagine i after they plucked it out with a nice little pop <laughs> they go and then i was like you immediately feel like you have to go to the bathroom so I was trying to get off the thing, and it was elevated. They're like, wait, 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 we have to put it down. We have to put it down. So I'm waiting for them to put it down. And I almost fell <laughs> when I got off because I stepped on a thing that I thought was part of the table, and it was a little hole. So my foot just went straight through the hole, and I just went forward. Now you oh know how God. girls feel when you put a finger in their butt. Yeah. It, it yeah, immediately exactly. feels makes them feel like they have to go to the bathroom. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. oh, yeah, something's being pulled out of a place that usually just lets things out. Exactly. Oh, I gotta write some cards. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said it's gonna be. I gotta write some cards. Sorry, uh, sorry I put my finger in your butt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is gonna give well, you Paul. more empathy with women, Paul. Yeah, it really like, is. No, you don't want that. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. That's gonna be my new it's line gonna be good that. in the long run. Yeah, I think so. I'm excited. I'm just happy to be healthy because that Me was too. scary. I bet that yeah. is scary. We're oh. happy that you're healthy too. Mm. I'm back. We're also happy that you've been on these episodes with us. Yeah. yeah. We like having you back. We're, we like having you healthy. My notebook is closed. We need to see you back on the comedy circuit as well. Yeah. Well, that's very exciting. I'm already doing shows. So. And we like you doing Good. shows. Yeah. It's very exciting. I'm so glad. You're um, very funny. 
Paul's very funny. Check him out, and Paul Antonio. Who are you going to give a shout out to? I gave a shout out on the last podcast. It's your turn. Um, oh, I have to give a shout out to somebody. Yep, you got to think of somebody. Who do I feel like giving a shout out to? Um, how about we give a shout out to? How about the bar we went to in Burbank that gave us all the free snacks? Oh yeah, we do like that guy. Eh? We like the, the blue, blue room? room. Yeah, we went to Flappers. The Blue Room in Burbank, great bar. Visit the blue Leonard. Room. It's, it was that his, oh yeah, Leonard was the I guy beside you. I don't remember the other guy's name. No, I think the bartender's name was Matt or Mark. It well, was Leonard was DMs. our bartender when we arrived and then he was getting off. Oh, that's right. And then he bought you a shot. And then he sat next to us. But their bar snacks are like, they have a little um, bowl of M&M's, a little bowl of like corn very nuts. Nice. Right? Corn nuts? It's a good bar. Yeah. But no, no, that one is a good cashews, one. cashews, but similar. Yeah. Not similar at all. And it's um, <laughs> cash only bar, but it's a good ambiance. It's very good. Yeah. That was very cute. Oh, I remember. Oh, yeah. I think we did talk about that already on the air. Because we were like, oh, yeah, you weren't here when we were talking about it. But we definitely, like, heard a guy do, like, a bunch of other comics jokes. And uh-huh. so we're like, Psst, that's so-and-so's. And we're like, Psst, that's so-and-so's. And then they were like, when he left the stage, you're like, one more time for so-and-so. We're like, yay! <laughs> like, <laughs> like, as if he hadn't done anything wrong at all. We're like, oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> what if he was doing all of uh, Josh Blue's material? <laughs> Oh my God, Josh Blip. <laughs> Why do people rip that guy one? off? Because no, because doesn't he have MS <laughs> or something? <laughs> Sorry, I got yeah, really, he does, doesn't he? I got uh, really cerebral palsy, cerebral I think. Pro- oh right, yeah, cerebral palsy. Yeah. yeah. No, Jen's more into autism. Remember? <laughs> I like guys that are on the spectrum. <laughs> I know. Me too. I've definitely gone out with them for sure. <laughs> Makes me feel more comfortable. <laughs> me too. Uh, they remember shit, right? <laughs> That's good. So do we. It's like a bit you of a connection. Know Rain Man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> He's telling how many M and M's were in that bowl. <laughs> oh my god, that's good. That was a good bowl of M and M's. So, somebody's gonna write a letter to the show after this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my god, we're well, in before, trouble. I know. I know. Oh my god, are we gonna get in? Well, don't worry. We, we, it's not like we're. I mean, we could use some press. I mean, we really <laughs> could. It might be good for us. Go ahead, yeah. please. <laughs> lay off Chappelle and get on Jillian. Exactly. Lay off Chappelle and get on Jillian. <laughs> how offensive do we have to get before you write? To us and say, All right. listen, you little jillers. I'm going to tell anyone that's in Reno to drink revisions, but also you can come see me October 10th and 11th at the Nugget in Reno. Nuggets in her I'll also be in Arizona September 27th and 28th, 29th. I'm not sure. Whatever that weekend is. And I'm maybe. Comedy I'm gonna, spot. I'm tailgating that. I'm coming with you. <clears throat> maybe. Maybe. Oh, are you scared? You don't want me to come anymore? No, I just don't think my hotel is going to be up to your standards. Oh, no, I liked it up. I liked it. I told you. Yeah, but I also looked up the one in San Luis Obispo and I had the same rating. No, but I feel like, but the, this one at least is a hotel. It's like corporate. So they can't really fuck it up that bad. Oh, you think corporate? And the neighborhood better? looks really good. It looks very walkable. And you're right, the comedy club's right behind it. I'm down. Yeah, so come check us out. And vasectomy guy lives there. Yeah. So I might not even sleep at home. I might go. Yeah, she's coming with me. So I might go and, I don't know, get some vasectomy D, see what comes out of that thing. I'm just curious. Does it still get hard? What is it, Spooge? Is this Jello? I have so many questions. I just need to fuck a guy with a vasectomy just like one time to see what it does. Do you know what I mean? Put it in a cup and bring it to the pod so we can analyze it. Yeah, should I? Be like, um, don't come in my stomach this time. Can you come in this? Uh, I'll be like, I don't see anything swimming. What the I fuck? Know. It's like, oh, can you imagine? <laughs> I get Paul's horrified. Face. And you have pink eye? <laughs> 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 uh, you and Tough Joe question. Biden. I'm sure he'll be <laughs> super flattered that I'm like, listen, I just need to see what it feels like. So <laughs> I don't like, uh, <laughs> I'm not looking for a relationship. I just need to see what happens with vasectomy D. You take instead of like a microscope, you take an old timey like monocle, <laughs> <laughs> you're like analyzing it. That'd be the best, right? Oh, hold, please. Uh, just can you just sit still for a minute? <laughs> like, like, uh. <laughs> oh, it's not gonna be good if I have to like. Guys, come find us. Um, yeah, and I'm uh, Christina Walkinshaw at Walk and Sauce, and uh, yeah, where will I? I'm probably literally. I'm definitely. I want to come with you and follow at Comedy Pop Up because they have follow. lots of other amazing podcasts. I mean, they do. Ours is the best. I mean, ours is the funniest, but like oh, the other ones are okay too. I'm sure you, everybody's talking. <laughs> you have the most muff zits per capita. Yeah. <laughs> have the most burps in city muffs. Muffs. Okay. okay bye bye. Bye. bye.